everyone. Welcome to this unboxing of the Poison Ivy Green with Envy version. Uh, I just got this today and uh, this is number 495 out of 2500. And yeah, as you can see we have the brown shipper here. It's a really slim box actually and this is probably in order to accommodate these large edition sizes that we are seeing today with today's releases of statues. So yeah, the boxes are becoming a bit smaller which is just fine with me because then I have room for them all in my basement so yeah but I'm just gonna go straight ahead and pull out the art box from the brown shipper here so give me two seconds all right now here you can see the beautiful artwork by Stanley Lau also known as Art Germ and this artwork also was offered by Sideshow as a print um, which sold out pretty quickly I had it ordered in the beginning but I decided to cancel it because I got the Kia Valkyrie artwork instead framed and I'm gonna do a video of that as well um, but as you can see the artwork goes on the sides as well and it's a really beautiful box with beautiful green color uh, and on the back we have the name of Poison Ivy here with this viney texture and it's just really nice looking definitely one of the most beautiful art boxes that I've seen um, right, I'm gonna take out the art box uh, or the styrofoam box now. So give me two seconds. All right, guys, here we have the styrofoam box, and I'm just gonna pull off the upper half here. And here we go. Here we have her, and you can see she's pretty much every part is wrapped up in this bubble or this just uh, a plastic bag, um, but it, everything seems to be fitted in quite tightly everywhere um, and I'm thinking that I should probably start by taking out the base which is this piece right here I'm just gonna try and pull the bag up just like that it's a really nice looking base it's not as tall as some of the other DC comics pieces out there here we go and this is Poison Ivy Green with Envy, premium format figure, nine, uh, 495 out of 2500 Sideshow Collectibles. And it looks fine. It has a nice weight to it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put it down here. And I think I'm going to take out some of the smaller bits and pieces first. This plant here. And pieces like these are just so, you have to be so careful and they're so fragile. And I believe if you compare this version of the Poison Ivy, uh, the flowers are different compared to the, um, to the first version. And I'm not sure how this is installed into the piece, but I'm going to figure that out later, I think. There must be some kind of stalk for this or something like that. So I'm just going to put this somewhere safe. Um, yeah, just give me two seconds. I'm just going to put it on this cloth here. Right, and this piece. Similarly, part of the flower thing. Also looks nice. Nothing seems to be broken. That's good. I'm gonna put that down here. And this here must be the stalk for it, or whatever you call this. Oh, this is just some vine that needs to curl around somewhere. I don't know where. I'm gonna figure that out in a moment or two. And I think that's everything except her, because she's over here, and I'm just going to see if I can carefully pick her up. She's actually quite heavy, a solid piece. And I can tell that the painting is looking really good. Yep. And the eyes 
seem to be applied correctly. Now check this, these colors are just beautiful. I really love the highlights of the green. And I'm gonna go over her in greater detail later, probably also in my review. But for now, as you can see, this is just a really eye-catching statue with the fantastic red hair color and um, the green variations all over her body are just perfect. I don't know how sharp this is. I'm gonna set her up and show you in this video how she looks um, with a few close-ups just as a teaser for my review that which will follow later uh, as soon as possible but this looks really good yeah right guys I'm gonna set up the base now and I'm gonna give you a glimpse of how you set her up um, so give me two seconds all right guys I have the base here on my turntable I know you can only see half of it but I have to, had to work a little with the frame in order for you to be able to see her entirely um, so yeah I got her right here as you can see there are three slots here and the center one has a peg inside which goes directly into the base the other ones are just there for stability I guess so I'll just see if I can carefully insert her you have to be a little careful when doing stuff like this just let gravity do its thing and let her fall right into the base and she fits in perfectly as you can see i'm just going to do a quick 360 for you now she has these additional things that needs to be inserted into the base i don't have any reference right here so i'm just going to see if i can figure this out without that um, this viney thing, I, I guess this needs to go um, in here, maybe. Like that. And then we have these two guys here. I don't really know if it matters which one goes where. I'm just going to try and see if i can get this one in here i don't think i can maybe this one perfect that was really an easy fit so i think this is the right way to do it um, yeah just like that and they're really nicely painted these two flower thingies and that's basically it um, now, one of the things that are mostly most important and mostly discussed when it comes to this piece and also its uh, predecessor is the eyes because they have had some issues with the eyes of this piece. But I have also heard that this green version had less of a problem when it comes to that. And I'm just going to zoom in so, so you can see what uh, it looks like on this particular one that I got. So just give me two seconds. And there we go. Now, from what I can tell, it looks pretty nice. And they did sideshow also promise a pretty good paint application on this particular piece. Um, it was shown at a convention and people were really... Believe, uh, they firmly believe that the piece that was shown was the prototype but um, a representative of Sideshow actually came out and said that it was actually a finished product um, and that really well some people had a hard time believing that because it looks so good and well I don't know I think it looks really nice and um, feel free to judge yourself um, leave me a comment telling me what you think um, yeah, I think I'm just basically going to wrap it up here. I'm going to zoom out a bit. Uh, and I'm going to do my review as soon as possible. I've been slacking a bit lately. I've been busy doing other things, but I'll see if I can get it done really quickly. Maybe tomorrow if I find the time. Or maybe actually after I'm done with this uh, unboxing. So, yeah guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, leave me a comment if you liked it, and uh, do like my video and subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys.